It's become a ritual of sorts at some companies. A way for people to let off steam at the end of a long work week. We have like what's called cracker barrels, which is kind of fun for employees to get together and enjoy each other's company outside of business hours and have a few beers. The engineering firm CH2M recently treated its workers and clients to Friday afternoon beverages. Good. But is treated the right word. The beer was made with recycled wastewater. It's fairly unusual. The idea is to um, uh, educate the public on how we can uh, safely produce uh, potable water from, um, from wastewater effluent. Larry Schimmoler is a water reuse specialist with CH2M. He helped design this technology packed trailer, which took wastewater from Pima County, Arizona, and ran it through a multi step purification process. All the organics, bacteria, and metals in the water were removed. Right here is where we sampled the purified water for the brewers and for the water bottlers that came out through this pipe, and that was collected and shipped off. There you go. Three Colorado brewers took those 1,250 liters of water and did the rest. People say toilets are tap, we say toilets are fantastic. Pima County's Jeff Pravat's motto may take some getting used to if you're a beer drinker. At first, they're kind of like, whoa, and then we have to explain that the water was. Uh, cleaner than any water that they've probably ever drank before we even started. I'd be remiss in my journalistic duties if I didn't put this beer to the test. This is a Hefeweizen from 105 West Brewing Company. Fantastic. It's not bad. It's got a good good body to it. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I love the beer. It's got a, a bit of banana to the finish. It's really good. Direct potable reuse water, as it's called, may be an acquired taste. We just need to convince the public that this is a, a safe approach, and the way we do that is by creating beer and encouraging people to taste it and see that it's uh, just like any bottled water or water you get out of your tap. So then Recycled wastewater is currently being used for irrigation and, yes, drinking water in various places around the world. It holds promise as a drought-proof water supply. We're kind of looking for the future, saying 30 years out, where's that next source of water going to come from? St. Arnoldus, the patron saint of Belgian beer, once reportedly urged his congregation to drink beer, not water, because it was safer. In this high-tech age, that may not be an issue anymore. Doesn't taste any different, no. I wouldn't be able to tell, to be honest with you. It's just the same. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Englewood, Colorado.